Hello, friends. It's Chop. Criminalization of abortion looking in the 21st century in the coming decades as opposed to uh, previous eras in American history where abortion was illegal. Uh, oh, or, or, do we have to end on that? <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, one, it's, one, I think it's going to be very difficult to predict. Like, I, yeah. I literally, yeah. it's going to be super, like, I have, I will say that, like, this is, this is a new thing. This is not, I, I think you're right. This is going to be different than what it was like before, both in terms of the fact that there's going to be a different economy for abortions. Like, you know, it's going to be fucking, you know, it's going to be weird having, like, women purchase from women off the waves and having to move it through Canada or whatever and probably more underground, you know, if you need a, a DNC or whatever. Like, it's it's definitely going to be different, but I have no idea what the punitive actions are. And this is, th this is like... I don't. I don't think anybody knows what's what's going to happen. The only thing I can say is like, you know, hey, if, if you got a car and you got a like, few extra bucks, you know, send it to one of these direct. I mean, I'll never donate to Planned Parenthood again. They're fucking evil. But you know, mm -hmm. go with God. But for direct service provision, like, there's a lot of organizations for that. I would. Yeah. Uh, I, I. I. would say I offer one grim prediction, and I think that this the in the twenty first century we will see more actual prosecution of women, which is you know already happened and already happening, but I think we'll see it in an elevated elevated volume. I think so, and I, I, I. think, like I said about Baby Shoy and Pervy Patel, both in Indiana, I think they've been doing much like the you know the beta testing of overturning Roe v. Wade. I think they've been. I think they're pretty good at testing the waters, like mm -hmm. the far right. Like they've been figuring out what they, they've been boiling our frog ass very slowly for a while now. And I think it's at the slow escalation and the slow day, like what also what you say, Felix, about just the state of American life. It's just getting slowly and gradually worse and worse every year, just gradually enough so that like, you know, it's boiling the frog. But I think they they're going to ease us into throwing like more women in jail. Yeah, and I think I think that the thing they're banking on there is, you know, you get enough people who don't give a shit, and then even more grimly, you have like a new a new base of voters who are actively like enthused by that in a I way that know, like man. would would be inconceivable previously. I don't think I don't think it's like a massive number, but I think it exists. I don't know, no, man. I, I actually, this is where I, I, maybe I'm a little sunny about, you know, whatever, like, like wh where we are right now. I, I hope that we're not that bad, but like, you know, if I talked to, you know, my family about Bye Bye Shui, which I've never done, uh, this is a case, by the way, of a woman who tried to kill herself and they prosecuted her for feticide. Uh, like, the, the, they, they, I've never had to ask them. I, I, I know in like even their sort of like, you know, you know, if they only knew about adoption, I know that they would be horrified by throwing that woman in jail. And they're like evangelicals. They think the world is going to end and that that's a good thing. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they're exceptional. Well, the question is, maybe I mean, it's I, different. I, the thing is, I don't think the question is, you know, whether or not there's going to be, you know, a, 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 general like sigh of horror as this stuff happens and that like a, a the the majority even of americans are going to not be happy with what's going to happen i i do think yeah. that's going to be the case I, I have to but the question is what will that uh, yeah. manifest as if it's just people independently being like that's a shame and then directing their uh angst about it outward and down then it won't really matter because right there will be no yeah. organized structure of of like people acting in concert against the drift of things to change the direction, to change well, and, trajectory. And here's the issue I have, even with the, the, the hubris theory, you know, and if, if the, let's say the Republicans are flying too close to the sun here. Let's say they, you know, this results in a bunch of cases where even like, you know, Americans that are very conflicted or, you know, would say they don't support abortion, but know that their exceptions would be disgusted by. Let's say that happens. Do you think like, the Democrats are going to fill that void? Like, it's not like they're in a position to take the reins. Yeah. Right, right, right. Do it. I, okay. 
then here is what I will say to like kind of bookend that thought. I, my personal opinion, my personal grim prediction is that we are going to see, yeah, more prosecutions of actual women having miscarriages, seeking abortions, etc. cetera, uh, because I do think that that excites a small but significantly active uh, younger part of the base. Mm-hmm. But I do think, of course, that comes with pushback. I do agree with you, Amber, that that horrifies most people. But to go off what Matt says, I think that if that if that horror results in, yeah, money for Planned Parenthood, money for, you know, the DCCC, whatever, this mm-hmm. just becomes another part of the endless dance in American yep. life. Mm-hmm. If that results in, and I'm not saying this to, like, be edgy or anything like that, but I really do mean this. If this results in, like, reasons for some of these people to live in mortal terror then I will be confident that we are actually seeing a change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. I, I like, I'm, I, <clears throat> I literally think not, it'll be, things are going to change like week by week. Like, I think this is going right. to yes. develop, this is going to shape up very quickly and we're going to get the sense of things very quickly. But right now it's fucking chaos. Like, it's I don't even, guess. yeah. And I think, Part of the, uh, I think a lot of the, the, the hopelessness that people feel when they try to engage uh, with, you know, uh, uh, social media and, and, uh, and regular media on, like, the question of, like, what's going to happen next uh, comes from the fact that the only questions that can really be asked at that level that we can all participate in are ones that uh, can't really be answered. They're all just these neurotic, you know, uh, rosaries that we go through about, like, well, what should we do? Like, hypothetically, as if we have the power to do anything. As if yeah. our opinion on like uh, whether they should sp- stack the court matters. As if that could yeah. possibly matter. So you're going to argue about you. C- you could only really participate like as a, a as a as a observer or even a participant in arguments about abstract things that you can't answer because there's nobody there who can stack the court at every level that doesn't exist. So yeah. you have to ask yourself, well, what am I going to do? You know, what what are what am I going to contribute to at a, like the, at a, at the the level of like life. And the fact is, if you're going to confront this thing, if we're going to confront this thing, at some point, we're going to get, we're going to be able to, like, actually challenge, and they're going to raise, as mm-hmm. we said. They're never going to mm-hmm. fold. They're going to raise. And that means conditions are going to change. Things are going to get more dangerous. Things are going to get more, uh, uh, less, much less abstract. And then you're going to have to do something. And the question you have to ask yourself is, do you have the horses for it? Yes. As, as, as well, Tom Wilkinson yeah. said to Michael Clayton, you want to do that? You think that's good? good? Okay. Let's not argue about whether you should do it now. Let's just, just assume we're going to do it because you want to do it. I'm not going to argue that you know your life better than, that I know your life better than you. I'll take it. Do what you want to do. But do you fucking have the horses for it? So ask mm-hmm. that question. But the problem is that can't be asked by us or anybody in social media because it's a particular question. Yeah, and there's yeah. only it's, it's, a universal and generalized it's an accounting. discourse. It's an accounting right. of like, what do we have in our arsenal? Who do we have? I mean, you know, and those you, are you, those yeah. are questions that are dry, boring, and can't be answered in the discourse zone. Yeah, well, and I think that the other thing is beyond like the you know what can I do on an individual level? Like we have to start thinking about like what we's do we actually have? Like exactly. a, a, an individual yeah. accounting of what you can do personally will keep you from losing your mind. It'll give you some sort of sense of like doing something for day to day. But like who are the, in terms of accounting, who are the we's and what do we have? Like what are our horses? What's in our arsenal? Who's like, what's in our armory? Like who, who's with us? And like, it's just, yeah, it's a boring accounting of things. And only then can we actually have a sense of what we're going to do. Yes. Yeah. I think that is that is a function, though that that, that the fear of that question it, that's a uh, sort of why you see so many things that are like, you know, ranking the hierarchy of who should be most upset yes. by this. Yeah, yes. right. Exactly. Ranking, ranking, yeah. ranking, uh, ra- ranking how ranking how good your reaction was to this. Ranking how how well you took into account the intersections of this problem. Yes. Because if 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 you are if you're caught up in not just the individual response but the hyper accentuated contours of your own individuality and figuring out what place in line you have yeah in all of this it's the closest thing we have to any type of hierarchy or organization 
it is it, it's it's like when a, a a cat like pats a blanket because they feel like they're <laughs> they're they're priming a fucking uh they're they're priming a teat for milk it's it, yeah it they don't they even know what they're doing from something that they no longer do and yeah. maybe have never done it's a floating signifier um, too and it's no long here's the thing i've noticed it used to be called like the oppression olympics where it would be like you know a few aspiring twitter stars would be like actually it's worse for me actually it's worse for me now it's like people who aren't of that group which means it's no longer like the oppression Olympics are like, well, why aren't you thinking about, you know, uh, black, disabled, trans, queer women or whatever. Like, they're the most, it's no longer the oppression Olympics because people are actually observers. Like, it's not just, oh, it's worse for me. It's like, it's worse for that person right. over there, of which I am not. No, yeah, it's now, it's, now, it's, it's no longer it's, Olympics, it's ghoulish. It's them looking it's, for the it's, most, it's, the biggest or the most extreme suffering they can and feasting on it. It's the only thing that yeah, no, it's it's, it's it's fucking it's oppression fantasy football. Yes, yes, it's disgusting. Yeah, it's it's just like okay, who you got? You got uh, the South Asians in the number three spot. I don't know. They're they're. <laughs> Their per capita income in the U.S. is a little high. It undercuts their sympathy points. Yeah. Well, you're not picking the right know. ethnic I gotta group. I got to go to yeah. like a, mid, a mid-second round pick, I got to tell you. Yeah, Jew, uh, Jews are like the Cleveland Browns. No, this year is when it's, it's going to be really bad for us. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. Going to the camps We're the year. underdogs. We're the underdogs, I swear. <laughs> We're comeback kids. Now with Baker Mayfield as your quarterback. Yes. <laughs> But like doubly frustrating is that there are plenty of people who see this stuff for what it is and say, I'm not participating in this horse hockey. This is not getting us anywhere. And then they decide what they're going to do instead is really get invested in strategic questions about what the Democratic Party should be doing, <laughs> what Chuck Schubert or Joe Biden should be doing, ir- ir- questions that are as irrelevant yeah. as who is most oppressed by this or whatever, or who's like the best, goodest boy in the progressive stack. That is a question that is meaningless because the Democratic Party cannot do these things. It will not do these things. In my mind, one of the most like carcinogenic uh, trends and like uh, the the left media discourse that we're all embedded in is people who use their real estate to say things like the Democrats need to pack the uh, the Senate, yeah. or, uh, the Democrats need to pack the court, the Democrats need to arrest uh, Donald Trump, the Democrats uh, need to enforce the Voting Rights Act uh, by fiat. It's they all sh- shouldisms. They it's cannot just like, do that. With, uh, yeah, but even if even if they could, like, who are you? Who are you? Exactly. Like you're no. You have no leverage in this situation. You're what it could have should have. Like if they just did this, if they just did that. Well, if its and butts were candy and nuts, suck my dick. It's completely stupid. Yeah. By the way, Dad, Matt, I have one disagreement. No one has ever said horse hockey. (laughs) I just did. (laughs) You're the first guy. You're the first guy. Horse hockey. The thing that's most astounding over you know what the Democratic Party should do type writing is that if you're operating under the assumption that they have made all these choices out of sheer incompetence, then th- it would be impossible for them to do anything. It would be impossible for them to get out of bed in the morning without hitting their head on their fucking bedpost and dying. <laughs> no one would be that stupid. But you know what? what's even more insidious about this is that so even though there are plenty of people who see that for what it is, like they can't do that, they then invest themselves in letting everyone know uh, they can't do that or they shouldn't do that. Instead, they should do this other thing that they can't and won't do. Yeah. And then you get to go spinning around that pinwheel instead of addressing the question of what do we have the horses for? Yeah. yeah. Like, cause well, that, and that question, as I said, is not adjudicated publicly. You know what you want to do. You know what the best strategy is. Go for it. You can't determine it socially. We, we broke up the structures that allowed for those kind of dis- communal decision making. We shall her into the void. All we hear is an echo, is the cacophony of everybody else's self-interest. So just go for what you think is right. Trust your gut. But then ask yourself, do I have the ability to do this? And then that means you have to start talking to other people about doing it. Actually talking about them. About practical questions that have answers. Find that your actually way. Can, like, hey, should we do this or this? Let's try one. And then you actually try it and something happens. As Find opposed to the questions that could never counting. be resolved because they could never be enacted. Um, as an addendum uh, to that, I think a very, very um, well stated, Matt. I mean, like, as far as, like, the only the practical considerations, you know, like, the only thing I have to add um, to this conversation right now is that if you're, you know, uh, <laughs> evaluating your horses and your conscience demands that you break any of these unjust laws, 
The only thing I can say is do not talk about it on social media. Do not mm-hmm. ask anyone wow. about it. Do oh, not talk on the, the phone way, about it. The yeah, first sorry, and also, rule of fucking sorry, Fight Club. Sorry, I'm sorry. And also, don't, don't fucking anyone. talk about it on Signal. Don't talk about Shut it on these fu- encrypted yeah. apps. Talk about it in person to people you trust. Form a yes. plan yes. and yes. fucking go and from there. And do not trust any, how do you do, fellow abortion activists? Would you like to do some crimes at a crisis yeah. pregnancy center? The primary fucking like uh, uh, people who inhabit are pregnant women. I'm just saying, a little bit sus to write, yeah. if abortion isn't safe, you aren't safe. To release statements yeah. that like uh, it's open season. That really sounds like something abortion activists say. To say like, oh, the the uh, you, the insurance providers will know that you're no longer viable. When I think abortion activists are pretty aware that like emergency pregnancy centers function not off of fucking insurance funds, but off of like weird Christian groups. Maybe if someone's saying, you know, hello, fellow abortion activist that you've never heard of, stay away from that person. I do think we are going to see a golden age of new undercover cop outfits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the undercover cops there. that will go to these places and will be the how do you do fellow <laughs> abortion activist guys that Amber talked about. You will see guy. You will see guys in physiques you have never seen before wearing <laughs> Latigra t-shirts. <laughs> It is going to be a brand new day. Woody shows up with uh, Doc Martens and a pussy hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But there, there's another advantage to in-person organizing and, and, and decision-making beyond OPSEC. It's that uh, you can actually come to uh, actionable conclusions when you're in a room talking to people and have a, like, a baseline yeah. trust built on that and not living in the hamster wheel where we're all thinking that we're trying to do politics, but we're actually advancing ourselves in like this social rat race for any kind of recognition without even knowing that's what we're doing. If you're sitting in a room, it's because you want to be there. Not like when you're online, which is when you basically want to entertain yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't, you shouldn't get your politics the same place you get your pornography. I've said it many times. Indeed. <laughs> it's no good. It's no good. <laughs> that's why we're here to provide value add yeah. In the form of hilarious japes and jesters. And, uh, and, and pornography coming soon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just so happy I got to be back on for a, for a fun episode. I really feel yeah. really good. Yeah. All things considered, it was pretty fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, it was a hoot. Yeah. It was a hoot. <laughs> there you go. I also said a hoot. A hoot. <laughs> a hoot. <laughs> we've, said, we've said horse hockey, a hoot. Um, uh, uh, japes. Scrimshaw. Yeah. Japes. Uh, no, yeah. Scrimshaw was Horn swoggle. I just said that one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, we're going back. To, we're going back to like the 19th century, like the early, like, like we might as well just start bringing back the language. Do something yeah. fun about it. Oh yeah, and actually, here one, one more, one more practical piece of advice. This one's for the fellows out there. Retain that semen. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Or or, more than or ever. give me the semen. Give us the semen. <laughs> give the semen. us the semen. <laughs> give me all your god. <laughs> Don't waste my motherfucking time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, re- let's leave it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, see you out there somewhere. Yeah, in the evening. Later, bye. Bye. <laughs>